Uh, welcome to the BS online channel. Uh, good morning to one and all uh, students. If you have not subscribed our channel, please subscribe it. In this, uh, we are going to discuss many number of uh, questions which are very important for video examination. But today, the very first question I am going to discuss. You know that this question is uh, repeated several times. The question is uh, define single electrode potential and derive an expression for the uh, single electrode potential. The question can also be asked as derive an expression for single electrode potential or define standard electrode potential and derive the Nernst equation. This question actually it will be asked for either 6 or 7 marks and most of the times this is asked for the uh, 6 marks and the split of the marks goes like this. The definition will give you the 2 marks, derivation will fetch you another 4 marks. Let's see what is the definition of single electrode potential. Uh, the definition is a single electrode potential, it is a measure of tendency of a given half cell reaction to occur as a reduction when it is in equilibrium with other half cell. What is the meaning of this? Definition is very uh, simple. It's uh, where only one sentence. If you write this much, uh, it will give you two marks. See, look at this fourth question. Define standard electrode potential. Derive Nernst equation for single electrode potential. Instead of writing the definition for the single electrode, you need to write the standard electrode potential. It is a little bit modification of a single electrode potential alone. If you are understanding and remembering the single electrode potential, it is easy to write the answer for standard electrode potential. Let's see what is the definition of standard electrode potential. It is the electrode potential when the electrode is in contact with a solution of unit concentration at 298 Kelvin. If the electrode involves a gas, then the gas at 1 atmospheric pressure. This sentence is applicable for the standard hydrogen electrode. So, most of the electrodes will be in contact with the solution alone. So, you can stop your definition at 298 Kelvin itself. So, if you are not understood this, when it is in equilibrium with other half cell, let me explain that part. So, answer is only this much. If you write this much, it will give you the uh, two marks. So, I will repeat. It is a measure of tendency of a given half cell reaction to occur as reduction when it is in equilibrium with other half cell. What does it mean? So, single electrode means a, a metal rod, it is in contact with its own ions. Let me draw that as a small diagram. So, this represents the metal rod. I will consider this as M. It can be zinc metal or copper metal etc. And the solution present here can be taken as I will take this as uh, metal ions M plus. I'll, let me represent this as a M plus. So, here this is M plus or MN plus. No, usually, we write it as MN plus. Metal and solution of the same kind. If it is a copper, this contains copper ions. If it is zinc, it should contain zinc ions. Something like this. So, when it is like this, there is a two possibilities. Either... The metal oxidizes, dissolves into the solution to give the metal ions Mn plus and releases same number of electrons, N electrons. Or you also have the Mn plus, the metal ions present in the solution takes up the electrons and get reduced to the metal. There are two possibilities. One is 
metal getting oxidized to release the electron or metal ions getting reduced to the metal by accepting the electron. So, simultaneously both the reactions will be taking place at equilibrium. Equilibrium means forward reaction is equal to the backward reaction. So, the reduction reaction predominates. So, at that situation what happens? The metal is getting dissolved into the solution means it is releasing the electron. Those electrons let me represent it by uh, <coughs> electrons I am going to represent it by the different color say minus minus how these minus ions or charges are formed because of the dissolution of the metal. Metal gets oxidized to the metal ions and releases the electron. Those electrons are rep represented as the uh, negative charges. And the solution is going to have the metal ions that I will represent by different color. Let me take a different color. Yes. Those things I will represent it as plus. Now, there exists a potential difference between the positive and negative charges. So, this difference we call it as a single electrode potential. So, when a metal getting dissolved into the solution releases the electrons and how many electrons are available that many positive charges will be attracted towards it and forms a junction. So, this potential difference generally it is called as a single electrode potential. So, that is the meaning it is a measure of tendency of a given half cell. Half cell means it can be the oxidation half cell or a reduction half cell. What is oxidation half cell? If the metal is undergoing dissolution to release the electron if this is predominating. Reduction means if metal ions gaining the electron and becoming the metal it is called as a reduction half cell. At equilibrium, at equilibrium, whatever is the potential which is available or a potential difference between these two at the junction, that is electrode surface and solution junction, that is called as a single electrode potential. Now, I will read the definition once again. So, look at this. It is a measure of tendency of the half cell reaction to occur as a reduction when it is in equilibrium is called as single electrode potential meaning is the potential difference arised at the junction between the metal and a solution interface is called as single electrode potential. Hope you understood the meaning. So, while writing the answer only this much you need to write. So, the, if you write this one sentence that will give you the uh, two marks. Now, moving on to the derivation of the Nernst equation. A Nernst equation, it is a mathematical relation between the electrode potential and a concentration of the electrolyte present in the beaker. So, to explain that, we have to consider a reaction, reversible reaction, Mn plus N electron giving rise to M. Forward is the oxidation, reduction reaction, backward is the a reduction uh, oxidation reaction always you have to consider the forward as a reduction reaction only according to the IUPAC concept. Now let us see how to derive the Nernst equation. To derive the Nernst equation the free energy change in a redox reaction uh, we write that as see delta G minus delta G is equal to W max. So some work has been done in the course of a reaction means it is nothing but the change in the number of electron. The work done in a redox reaction is a change in the number of electrons. So, uh, that is possible at the expense of change in the free energy. So, and it will decrease the free energy during the course of a reaction decreases. That is why there is a delta G that means spontaneously the work has been done by the system. So, the, the delta G is negative means it is a spontaneous reaction. So, the work is done at the expense of the change in the free energy. 
hence the free energy decreases that is why it is represented as a minus sign. Now let's see what is the work done in a redox reaction is nothing but uh, minus N E F. So what is that uh, in a redox reaction the work done is nothing but the electrical energy. The electrical energy is given by number of volts multiplied by number of coulombs. So, where N is the uh, number of volts, F is the Faraday, sorry, N is the number of electrons released, F is the Faraday, E is the electrode potential of that particular metal. So, therefore, delta G, I can write it as uh, minus NEF. That means, electrical energy is equal to volts into coul coulombs, nothing but uh, NEF, but delta G is negative, therefore, W max is equal to NEF and delta G is equal to NEF and only delta G if I have to take then it will become minus NEF. Similarly, at this standard condition the decrease in free energy is given by another one that is NE not F. So now what is this delta G, delta G naught, RT log KC means? It is the expression given by one half for a redox reaction. So delta G is equal to delta G naught plus RT log KC. It is the change in the free energy in a redox reaction. Actually it is given by the van Tuff. So you know the value for the delta G. Also you know the value for the delta G naught. Substitute the values in this equation. When you substitute, so it will change the other form. Also, what is Kc means? Nothing but equilibrium constant is given by concentration of the metal divided by the concentration of the metal ion. So, metal ion concentration uh, will be changing with respect to the metal. But metal will remain same. It is a solid. Usually, we take that as a 1. When you substitute the values for delta G, delta G naught and Kc, the equation takes the following form. So, when you substitute like this, this is the form, simplify further and divide the equation 6 by Nf. So, it will give you E is equal to E naught minus RT by Nf log M by Mn plus. As I said earlier, M is equal to 1. So, when you substitute 1, it is like this. This is called as Nernst equation for the single electrode. And here it is, uh, log is there. And here it is plus sign. Uh, if I want to uh, change the minus sign to the plus sign, uh, this can be taken to the numerator. Or you can stop the equation at uh, this stage itself. One more thing is there by substituting the values for R, uh, F and one more uh, uh, M, uh, it will take, take the another form that is 0 0.0591 uh, log of Mn plus. That is also possible. That means finally, I can write the Nernst equation as here I have not written, I will just show you. When I substitute the values for R, a constant 8.314, it will take and F Faraday 96500 and T is absolute temperature. The equation takes the form E is equal to E naught plus Y plus means so here uh, uh, concentration of Mn plus when I take it to the numerator log of 1 by A can be written as uh, minus log 1 by A can be written as log A. Using that concept I am changing this and <coughs> and substituting the value for T as 298 Kelvin Faraday as 96500. When I do all those things, it changes to 0 0.0, 0 0.591 and also we have changed ln to the log base 10, logarithm base 10. So, the, I will write it as log concentration of m n plus. What is m n plus? Nothing but concentration of the metal ions in the solution.
So in the previous, uh, when I was explaining single electrode potential, I have shown the metal ions in the beaker getting reduced to the metal. Uh, so that will keep on changing accordingly, the potential also changes. So from this equation, what you can infer is very, very important conclusion you can draw. The potential of any metal rod, that is single electrode potential, the potential of any metal rod depends on the nature of the metal. See here, n is a change in the number of electron. If you take a silver, silver oxidizes to release only one electron. Copper, Cu oxidizes to Cu2 plus 2 electrons. Aluminium, Al oxidizes to Al3 plus 3 electrons. Like that, n, that means nature of the metal. The potential of a given metal rod depends on the nature of the metal. Also, it depends on the operating temperature. So, also it depends upon the metal ion concentration. Simply, we can say Nernst equation is uh, the relation between, a mathematical relation between electrode potential and metal ion concentration. So, this equation this equation is called as Nernst equation for single electrode. I am going to circle. You can see here this equation is called as Nernst equation for single electrode. Up to here if you write the answer you can get 4 plus 2 marks. 2 marks is for definition and 4 marks is for the derivation. So hope you understood. Uh, thank you students.